Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're the Daunties. My name is Rochelle. I'm your favorite Donna, but most of this video gonna be about this one right here. <laughs> yeah, because we're gonna be doing some diamond painting. So if you've never done diamond painting, it's basically paint by numbers, but with jewels instead of paint. And Diamond Art Club was so gracious to send us um, our very own diamond painting kit, which all of their products come with the full kits. And we will leave the link down below if you want to check them out, as well as our coupon code to save 20% off of any order uh, from them using our code Dante's 20 um, But I am very excited to get into this and to get this started. So we're going to be filming this over the next several weeks. Um, as, as time allows, we'll be working on it. I'm going to try uh, it again, y'all. Yeah, I'm going to try, try, try it again. But um, this one is a little bit bigger than the ones that I have done in the past. And it's been about three years since I've done it. So... It's been a long time, might be a little rusty, but it's gonna be fun. And it's something that I have talked to you about wanting to get back into. Yeah. I just haven't done it yet. So now I have the perfect excuse thanks to Diamond Art Club. And uh, yeah, we're gonna open up the kit, see what it's all included, and kind of show you guys how it works. And then hopefully very soon, show you the finished product. So you ready? Let's do it! Let's go. All right, so here is the kit, and we're gonna open it up and see all of the items that comes inside. All right, the first thing we have is the DIY Diamond Painting Toolkit. So this is going to contain the applicator, the grip, the wax pad, the craft tray, and a multi-placer. That's pretty cool. Let's open that up and see what that looks like. So these are the wax pads. It's really cute that they are in heart shape, but this is gonna help you pick up the diamonds. Then we have the actual uh, container that'll hold the diamonds that you're working on at the time. Then we have an applicator, so you basically use this to place the diamonds from um, the tray to the painting. So that's going to be really cool. So basically this is so you can pick up multiple diamonds um, if you have like a row of I think five maybe? Three to five that you can pick up at once and place in your painting. Then you have this grip which I'm assuming uh, goes on top of the applicator to kind of help um, soften that for you. So very similar to a pencil. And then we have all of these baggies, which I am sure um, is what you can put the diamonds in to separate them out. And just a reminder, this is the diamond painting that we will be doing something in the air, which is Jack, Sally, and Zero from Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay, so we have some information inside of here, step-by-step -step instructions. If you have never done diamond painting, it will come inside of your kit as well as the guide. So this will tell you what symbol it is and what actual diamond code it is that you're gonna be looking for so you can replicate this um, in the diamonds. And then here are all of the diamonds and they are all coded um, the way that it is cross-coded on here. So 5200 is going to be represented as a little square it looks like. So. Um, yeah, these are all of the diamonds. So this is why you have these little baggies um, that are Ziplocs because these actually come um, in bags that are not resealable. So you can actually break these open as you need them. And then after you're done with that, you know, group of diamonds, you can put them in a Ziploc baggie, uh, label them so you can use them again the next time it comes up. So these are all of your diamonds. Oh, look at these colors. You have the black, blue, white. You have like this pretty teal blue. Then you have a light blue. A lavender, pinks, purples. Like, this is going to be really pretty. All right, now let's look at how big this thing actually is. Wow. <laughs> this is going to be really fun. It's probably going to take um, a couple of weeks of us working on this. Um, a little bit at a time to get this done. It is a really nice size and I mean they're actually it looks really simple which I I'm a fan of and I think this is gonna look beautiful once it is all diamond. So just so you know you do also have the color and symbol coded um, chart here on the side of the painting and basically I like to start in the bottom right hand corner um, because if you if you peel up this corner so there's like a plastic protector over the, the whole painting and this is sticky 
So it's easiest to lift up one little corner at a time and kind of progress your way through. I mean, you slowly lift this back uh, to expose more of the canvas for you to diamond paint. So let me get some things set up and we will try this out and see what this looks like. But I also have something that's really gonna help out. So if you look at this painting, you can see um, the symbols and everything um, on this painting. However, it is a lot easier, I have found, to use this light board to kind of help light it up from the bottom. So I'm going to put the diamond painting on top of this and then we'll get started. All right, so if you actually look, um, this symbol is basically a black square with a white uh, circle in the middle, which is code 310. So I found code 310 of the diamonds. So I'm going to be opening up one of these little baggies, putting them in my little tray, and then we can get started. Okay, so I have the diamonds in the tray and I'm just gonna shimmy it, which will just kind of help them lay down a little flatter um, because there is a bottom side of these diamonds and a top rounded edge. And that's what you want facing up. So you're gonna pick them up from the rounded edge. So we're just gonna get that little shimmy, get that little uh, situated in there and we're gonna put that off to the side. Now we're gonna take the, the wax and there's a little plastic piece on top of it to kind of keep it um, protected. So now all you basically do is punch a hole. So if you can see the, the red tacky, I know it's blurry, but um, it is in there. So I'm gonna turn on my light and let's get this thing started. Date. I have done all of the black except for Jack, Sally, and Zero. So I'm going to save that to the end. But I think I've gotten all the black done, so time to move on to the next color. all of the black and white diamonds on this painting except for the very center so now that I have like the two biggest chunks done as far as coloring again minus the center I'm going to start from right to left and do about 10 to 20 rows at a time and slowly complete it going this way so I will update you as I go this thing is huge you guys but it is so fun
I'm helping. Hi, you see me? Hi, I'm helping. Look at me. Look at me. I'm helping. Okay, so it has been about a week it took us to complete this, and I will say it looks stunning. I helped! She did. So I actually did the most of she did. the majority of it while she was gone. She went out of town for a few days. I took some time off work, and I spent four of my five days off of work working on this from morning until night. And I got through 10 audiobooks in that time. Because <laughs> this was literally all I did while I was off. And then when she came home, I had about a third of it left. And together we were able to finish on the last day. And this, this is beautiful. So are you ready? Say it ready. Ta-da! Look at how big this thing is. And I love all of the colors. And I think, I think we will get like glow in the dark paint and paint the moon because I think that is going to look amazing. So um, so what we're gonna do um, is probably, you know, cut off the edge and get it framed. And we know of a little girl who would absolutely adore this. Yeah. So I think we're gonna save it for her birthday, which is just before Halloween, so it's perfect. Um, but I think this is stunning. I mean, just, just look at this, look at this. Yeah, I know a little girl that would love to have that in her room. And if the moon glowed in the dark, she'd love it even more. Yeah, she's a little weirdo like that. Hey, I love her. <laughs> so if you want to try any of the diamond paintings, I'm going to leave a link down below where you can go and get your own. We also have a coupon code DAUNTIES20 that will save you 20% off of your purchase from their website. So thank you, Olivia, again, and Diamond Art Club for sending this to us. This was a lot of fun. And the outcome is just beautiful. It's so shiny. My mom's my mom's gonna love this. Oh my god, all the shine. She's into shiny. And it's all sparkly. And there are some of these beads that are really, really iridescent, and they just look really good. So leave a comment down below. Let us know if you have tried diamond painting and if this is something that you haven't tried but you're interested in. Hopefully this video showed you. Um, really what it's all about. I mean, go check it out. Yeah, it's really cool. We'll save you 20%. There you go. Why not? And some of you guys wanted to see the other diamond paintings I have done. So I'm going to pop in a short little clip of those that I have done. I have like two more, I think over here in my little stash from many years ago that I have yet to do. But now that we've done this one, I might want to pull out the other two and see which ones they are. So I think one of them is Maleficent and then one is Monsters Inc. Maybe. Cool! So I'll have to get those done too. So here is a look at the previous diamond paintings that I have done. So we have Ursula the Sea Witch, Buzz and Woody, Hey Hey, Nick and Judy from Zootopia. We have Aladdin and Beauty and the Beast. So these are just a few that I have done um, in the past, or I guess it's been like three years now, but these are so fun. That's gonna do it for us today. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.